Mick Schumacher had a great career in the junior formulas, and when it was announced that he would join Haas for the 2021 season, many people were expecting a lot from the son of the great Michael Schumacher. However, for 2021, Haas did not develop the car at all, and they had the slowest car on the grid by a mile. And this meant that the team and Mick did not get any points. He did beat his teammate, which is the best that he could do, but he did have a lot of crashes, which were kind of swept under the rug as he was a rookie. And 2022 would be the year he would have to perform. He did not. Compared to his teammate, Kevin Magnussen, and he would again have a number of crashes, which were very costly to Haas, who are a small team, and then he was replaced by veteran Nico Hülkenberg for 2023. Mick will still be in and around the sport with him taking a reserve driver at Mercedes, where he can learn for this season and look to get back into a team when he is ready and an opportunity comes up for him. However, this does seem to have come much sooner than many people and probably he expected. In today's video, we will touch upon how Schumacher could replace Sargent at the request of Toto Wolff or how he could get De Vries's seat if he is kicked out of his seat in the next few races and how Mick, being a Mercedes for the whole of 2023, could benefit him. Let's get right into it. Our first topic of the video is a reason why you click this video, and that is how Mick Schumacher could get back into Formula One. And this is because he could be joining Williams very soon at the request of Mercedes boss Toto Wolff. Mercedes and Williams have had a very close ties over recent years, with Mercedes taking young drivers from Mercedes and they would then provide them with their engines too. However, 2023 has seen another connection with former head of strategy James Vowles going to Williams to be their team principal. So there is even more connection between the two teams, and this is why we could see Mick Schumacher partner Alex Albon in the very near future. It has come out very recently that Total Wolf has spoken to James Vols to sign Mick Schumacher to replace Logan Sargent, which is a kind of good thing showing how good of an impression Mick has been making at Mercedes. Now, it is hard to say if Vols will listen to his old boss or if he will continue trying to build his own project whilst he leaves Mercedes in the past. The connection is there and maybe Toto believes that he could influence Vols to make this big change. But Logan has not really done much wrong to warrant him losing his seat so early into his rookie season in the sport. He deserves to have the whole of this year to see what he is made of. And if he does not impress, then he could be replaced. But he's not had enough races to prove himself to the team. Clearly, Mick has impressed Toto and the team for him to put in this word for him so that he could get a seat back in Formula 1. Overall, it all depends if Valves will listen to his former boss or if he will continue with his own new path and see if Logan can perform well for the rest of the season. If he does not, then maybe Williams can think of changing their drivers and bringing Mick in after he's had a full year at a top team like Mercedes. Do you think that Mick being at Williams would be a good move for his career? Or should he stay at Mercedes for longer and see if there is an opportunity somewhere else? Maybe in a Mercedes main seat once Hamilton retires or at another team. Let us know what you think about this situation in the comments below. Moving on to another team that Mick Schumacher could possibly join in the very near future and that is Alfa Torre. As many people know from one of our previous videos, De Vries looks like he could lose his seat very soon, and if he does not improve his performance in the coming races. Rumours are going around that Daniel Ricciardo will be replacing him if he does not step it up, but it could be possible that Mick Schumacher could take that seat instead. Mick would probably benefit from this move more as he is younger than Daniel, and he wants to prove himself again, same as Daniel does. But Daniel doesn't really want to stay at Alfa Torre for too long, but Mick could as he looks to build on his first two years in the sport, and he may stay for the long term. The only issue with this is that Mercedes will be losing their third driver to a Red Bull owned team. And we are sure that Toto will not want to do anything that would help Red Bull at all after everything that has happened in the past. Mick at Alfa Torre would be a better fit as he is young too. And this is what Alfa Torre is for, to build young drivers until they are ready to go into that Red Bull, even though it's not worked out like that in recent years. Mick can go into the team, do well, and get rid of those crashes he had at Haas, get more experience, and if he does impress Christian Horner and the people at Red Bull, 
it could be possible that he gets a seat alongside Max Verstappen. Now, all of this is very unlikely due to how likely it is that Ricardo gets the seat. But if Alfa Torre were sensible, they could possibly want to have Schumacher in the team instead due to his age. Overall, this move will benefit both of the parties and it would be a surprise to say the least if this move was to happen. But anything can happen in Formula 1 in a split second. Would a move to Alfa Torre be better for Mick Schumacher than a move to Williams? Drop a comment below and tell us what you think the better move would be for the German. Our final topic of this video is how Mick Schumacher should probably stay at Mercedes for the rest of 2023 so he can become an even better driver. Mick's role at Mercedes right now is to help the team where he can by working the simulator at the factory and giving feedback to the team on how they can help the team. He's also the reserve driver, meaning that if Hamilton or Russell cannot take part in any session until weekend, he will step in and replace them for that session. He will more than likely take part in one or two practice sessions for the season due to the young driver's program, which means that teams need to put a young driver in at least two practice sessions each season. All of this for Mick whilst being in a top team and around winners at Mercedes at the factory, but learning off world-class drivers like Lewis Hamilton and George Russell is very key for him. He is still very young, and this year will be good for him to get even more knowledge so that he will be ready for when his opportunity comes back to get a main seat in the sport. Mick should really stay for at least the rest of the 2023 season so he can take full advantage of the opportunity that he has been given by Mercedes. Even though Mercedes are not fighting at the front right now, they have some of the best personnel on the grid who can help Mick in a lot of ways. This year for Mick was to learn and become a better driver the most that he can. If he were get a seat at Williams or Alfa Tori this early, he is not taking advantage of everything that Mercedes have to offer him. He should stay for the rest of the 2023 season because you never know, one of the Mercedes drivers could have to miss a race weekend and Mick could drive the Mercedes for a weekend and show everyone that he proves to be in a top team. But we do not know what will happen with Mick Schumacher for the rest of the season. He could stay at Mercedes or we could see him back driving on the grid full time very soon. I guess we'll just have to wait and find out. Thank you all so much for watching this video and make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more videos just like this one.